What's going on everybody? My name is Eli and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I wanted to make a quick video about a question that a lot of people ask me. If you know anything about me, you know that when I was an undergrad and a little bit after undergrad, I was a pre-med student before I switched to being pre-dent. Because of this, a lot of people ask me about switching from pre-med to pre-dent, how to go about that switch, what they need to do to get prepared to take the DAT, etc., etc. Now, a little bit more about me that I'm not sure if I've ever really shared this with the channel. Maybe I did in one of my earlier videos, but um, I feel like I have a unique thing about me or unique experiences that allow me to speak on a subject that a lot of people ask about and want to know more information about. So I took the MCAT before I switched to pre-dent. I took the MCAT and the DAT in the same year in 2019. So I'm going to speak off experience and answer the question what are the huge differences between the MCAT and the DAT and which one is easier? That's going to be a loaded question, <laughs> but I feel like that's a question that so many people ask me. Is the DAT easier than the MCAT? Blah, 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 blah. I don't know where people get this from, but you know, we're, gonna, we're definitely going to talk about it. Before we get into the content of the video, if you're new to the channel, please, please, please hit the subscribe button. It helps me out a whole bunch on YouTube. If you want to know more about me, you can check out some of my older videos, but just a quick spiel. My name's Eli. I'm a first year dental student at Boston University Henry M. Goldman School of Dental Medicine. And on this channel, I make vlogs, uh, basically traveling through my dental school journey. And also I make some videos like this where I sit down and talk to the camera about different dental related topics and give advice to pre dents So let's get into the nitty gritty. What's easier? the MCAT or the DAT? My honest opinion, neither. Um, the exams are definitely different in some senses, but I wouldn't say one is necessarily easier than the other. And I'll get into the nitty gritty of that, don't worry. This isn't gonna be a short video where I just answer and don't explain. What's going on everybody? Before we get into the rest of this video, I'd like to thank the sponsors of today's video over at Opti Official. I recently received an Opti Official Oxygen One air purifier. I like to use it when I'm studying. As a very busy dental student, I can take it a lot of different places with me because it's small like a water bottle and I can stick it right in my backpack. As you can see, I like to use it at home. I like to use it when I'm studying at school, especially with COVID and things like that. It helps me purify the air around me and I can also use the essential oils that it comes with to also serve as like a little air freshener that I can take with me on the go. I like to use it at school, at home, even in my car, I can use it as a little air freshener and to purify the air in my car. It's so convenient because I can plug it into my laptop or straight into the desk at school. It's USB-C compatible, which is perfect for the new MacBook Pros that I know a lot of us dental and medical students and pre-dents have. Um, I definitely recommend the Oxygen One air purifier. Also, it's a great way to support black owned businesses. So if you are interested in purchasing an Opti official Oxygen One air purifier, you can use my code student Dr. Eli when checking out at the website and you can get 15% off of your purchase. Now let's get back into the video. So let's talk about the two exams in a perspective of when I took it. So keep in mind that I took both of the exams in 2019, meaning this is before COVID. I know some things have changed since then. And so I'm only going to speak to my experience. And if some things have changed, please forgive me on not knowing the exact changes for both of the exams since 2019. So I took the MCAT in March of 2019 and I took the DAT in October of 2019. Um, for those people that don't know, the MCAT is longer than the DAT. I believe the MCAT when I took it was seven and a half hours. The DAT was four or four and a half. Um, there are slightly different sections on both exams. I remember the MCAT having 
like a sci like a sciences type of section but so it was different like i believe like one was like a physics one was more so like a chemistry and biology one was like a reading comprehension section and the other one was uh, i think it was called cars but it's kind of like a sociology psychology kind of section the dat has one section that's like a survey of the natural sciences that covers biology general chemistry and organic chemistry uh, i think it's an hour and a half section they have another section called pat which is a perceptual perceptual abilities test that tests your ability to uh, use like spatial awareness and a whole bunch of things that no one has really ever tried before um a quantitative reasoning section which is basically math but it's more like a statistics and probability kind of math not like algebra or geometry i think there might have been some geometry but anyway the last section was a, a reading comprehension section um now i will say i do think the reading comprehension section on the dat was much easier than the reading comprehension section on the mcat and that is probably why I scored nearly perfect on the reading comprehension section for the DAT. So there are some dire differences between the MCAT and the DAT. And so when people usually ask me like, oh, you took both, like, was the DAT easier? First of all, I don't know why everyone always asks if the DAT was easier. Why don't they ask if the MCAT was easier? But anyway, um, I think they're different in the sense that on the MCAT, just about every question is passage based, whereas on the DAT, a lot of the questions, well, yeah, basically all the questions that aren't in the reading comprehension section are just a straight up question. What is this? What is this? Um, and so I think it's different in the sense of in the DAT, there are no context clues. Either you know it or you don't. Um, did you study this? Do you know it? Do you know the answer? If you didn't, then you're kind of just lucked out. Whereas on the MCAT, you may know something about the question. You may have studied something about the question and then reading the passage and using context clues in the passage can help you answer the question. So it all depends on what you think is easier. I think it's a case by case basis and that's why it's hard to say whether one or the other is easier. You know what I mean? So actually today, the same day that I'm recording this video, I put up a community post asking if you all want me to take the DAT on the channel, as in make a video of me going through a full length practice test and showing you guys how I would go through the DAT, how I would tackle the questions and things like that. Because people responded saying they would like me to do this, I'm going to stay away from getting into the nitty gritty details about the sections on the DAT, like the PAT section and the quantitative reasoning section, because I think I can expand, expound more on that when I'm doing the DAT video. So for those, for all intensive purposes, this video is not going to be too much about describing what the MCAT and the DAT is. Um, or what the sections in those exams are, just highlighting the major differences between the two exams. I feel like this is a question that I am going to get, so I'm just gonna answer it now. Yes, I do feel like taking the MCAT before taking the DAT prepared me well for taking the DAT. Um, one, I knew how to study for a standardized test by how I studied for the MCAT and taking a course to study for the MCAT. Um, I will say that I took maybe like a three month break between when I took the MCAT and when I started studying for the DAT. So, um, you know, all the information wasn't super fresh in my head, but it was somewhere in there. It hadn't escaped me yet. So, yes, taking the MCAT did help me when it came to um, studying for and taking the DAT. If you all have any more questions about the MCAT or the DAT, feel free to comment under the video. If you've commented under my videos before, you know that I respond to all questions. I like it when you guys comment because other people may have the same question as you and want to have it answered. And as much as I try to make sure I cover every single topic when I'm filming the video, I do forget things. And, um, you know, if there's clarification that anyone needs, I'm super happy to help. So. 
please comment if you have any questions about the MCAT, the DAT, the differences between the two, or anything else like that. If you want to know my DAT scores, I will link the How I Study for the DAT video above, and you can check that video out too, where you know I go through how I study for the DAT, what my scores for each section were, etc. I think that pretty much wraps it up for this video. I don't know if there were any other topics that I wanted to hit. Um, again, to reiterate, I personally do not think that MCAT or the DAT is easier than either one of the other, if that's the correct way to word it. I think the two exams are similar, but also very different. And whether you find one or the other to be easier depends very much on the person their learning style, their testing style, their studying style, and you know all those kinds of things. So there's a lot of different um, factors that go into one's uh, judgment on which exam is easier. But I personally do not feel like there's a clear cut answer to whether one exam is easier than the other. And that, you know that's just my personal opinion. Everyone may not agree with that. But as someone who took both exams in the same year, I do feel like my opinion may be valued by someone who is wondering the answer to that question so that's all i have for today's video again if you watched all the way through make sure you subscribe to the channel i make new videos every week you don't want to miss them i'm so excited for you guys to join me in 2022 check out all the new things coming to the channel and that's all for today so Thanks everyone for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.